Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Scotiabank Arena, and this is episode 5 officially. Sorry again for the video yesterday, I don't know what happened to it, and yeah. Just go subscribe to DJ Basketball Fan 1129, that card guy 2005, and Samuel Gamer 7997. They're all great people. Anyways, let's get started. So yeah, as you can see, I extended the highway. So I'm going to show you that first. And yes, I still got to put signs over here and still make like one more exit. So I'm not done with that yet. Let's see. Those two boxes right there, if you don't know what they are, they're concessions. Because sometimes you don't have enough room, so you have to put them like that. I might put washrooms to maybe fill it in, we'll see. We'll see. So I'm going to show you where now the highway ends. And now, and now it ends right here at this lake. It doesn't go into the lake. Like, let's just say there's a street right here, then there's like a way you can go one way or the other. Can't set that to Toronto, no. There's a sheep over there. See the CM Tower? And the Scotia Bank Arena. We're gonna go inside and show you some updates. Sorry for all the background noise, it's just, just because I'm filming right next to the, the bar in my basement, so it's just the refrigerator making a lot of noise. Yeah, there is some almost there. This is a new exit over here, which I think is another way you can access Scotiabank Arena. There's going to be also signs on the highway advertising Scotia Bank Arena, Roger Center, and the CN Tower. Let's see, I don't, I'm not going to put an exit right here because you know that's not going to work. I mean, I'll probably put it like right here. Yeah, this is where the exit's going to go. But you know Toronto, you know, everything's under highway. <laughs> but you know, there's still enough room for fans to get in. <laughs> I know this is not how it's supposed to be in real life. It's really supposed to be on that side, but it's like, whatever. So you can really see the highway. Now this is not the highway. That's the highway. Okay, so... I'm gonna go through some of the updates. The first update is a video board. I had to put it lower, but I had to break the other one. So, we'll get to that later. So the main thing that's down here now, it's these sections that go into the, the to this level. The that level. Yeah, I'm gonna go like for each floor or something. So this is basically what's on the 100 level at the event level. This is then you know that's how the players get on and off. And then you have one like literally right up, almost right above the Leafs one. See Rogers is sections and then Sport Check is for the players, so you know the difference. And then this is just a different one to get in for the event level. Even though there is holes, but still, you need some of these so you don't have to walk. So, you have to, so if you're sitting over here, you have a section. You gotta go to the other side. Just fly. Oh, yeah. I updated the gold lights. I just did this. And on the other side. 
outwards. Which actually looks like a place where they couldn't go into a map and even make it out. Another section, not another section. So there's three over there and three and then just only two over there. And you can literally see under the video board. So no place in the first place. That's not supposed to be where the scroll is actually not supposed to be that high. It's supposed to be more like down here. I think this looks more authentic than the first one I did. It looks more like it now. Another thing that changed is with the holes. I put Molson Canadian on all of them. None of them. I think all of them have it. If not, I didn't get the sign. Yeah, there's another one. And yeah, they all have it. So you can already tell. I'm gonna go back on the items and go into the loose room. That new other locker room has been changed. It's just a loose one that changed to like a little bit. Right there. So, this is it, and they have all of the players' names on. Slowly, so you can read all of them. So, you know, some of them have left, so I had to, and that's why I was waiting until I got a roster. The Dawson Matthews. And Tavares. Another big guy. Team and then the old, and then you know, there's also CC, but I don't think he has a number yet. Or Spencer, it's not waiting for some of those guys to get their numbers. These are the only ones that have numbers so far. Most of these players are last season, you might say like 95% of them last season. No, I say like 90, but a lot of new players. Anyways, let's go back to the ice. Alright, we're gonna head upstairs now to show you the updates. Let's do this staircase. Actually, we should do escalators. Okay, we'll get back to that staircase in a minute. So we just got the concessions. Sweet little view of the video board as well. Another update I put and labeled all the, the elevators and stuff. So, here is the 200 level view. See, before you can see anything on the video board, but not like you can see a little bit. Yes, you can see the effect. Now, the hard part about the 300 level is you won't be able to see most of the, most of the ice. You can probably only see one goal. So that's why I had to, like here you can see it, but 
for other encyclopedias, like this one especially, you can't even see it. You can't even see it. You can't even see the ice, so you have to put TVs. And even the video board will also tell you. But if you want to see the goals, you have to like literally look at the video board. I see like down here is okay. Like you always have to sit on the first row, basically. And there's another TV. Now I know these are supposed to be like signs, but most of the seats can't even see the ice. <laughs> it just showed me. So I'm putting TVs there so they can see all the goals going. Teams. Like, they want to see all the goals or like the saves or like the good plays and like that. Well, this is the only way they're gonna get it. <laughs> Just like they want it at home. Anyways, I'm gonna go up there because there's another update. You might have already saw it when I was flying around. So we're gonna go to this staircase where you can see the highway. And this is the best staircase that I like. You can see like the back of like you can see some of the highway like, going towards the end. Let's go so you right here we can see it. You can see there's gonna be signs here. You can see signs, which is good. I'm gonna head up to the four hundred level. I don't use the elevators, I just use stairs and escalators because they're faster. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, over here. Go here. As you can see, I did the Canada and American flag. What do you guys think of this? Leave a comment if you think I should edit these. See your opinion, why not? Anyways. <coughs> These are some offices. This so what's this? Oh no, these are, uh, I'm sorry, these are the announcers boxes. This is the one I don't like, the Boston one. I shouldn't even give them a box to be honest, but it's fine. As you can see, you're also right underneath the scoreboards. See, at least there's scoreboards there too, so if you can't see the score, it's already on the wall. As well. See that? Two scoreboards are easily open. Or if you hear any furnace noises, it's just that it's really loud, so you just gotta try to ignore it. I'm trying to ignore it, and I don't really like it either. As you can see, and I think there's also a noise outside as well. Every time when I seem to leave the pool, it makes that noise as well, the furnace noise. The same one as it's making right now, but that's not what we're here for. Anyways, this is the view from the 500 level, and now you're closer to the flags. And then basically you have to look down to see the score. Not that score, but I'm talking about this one. You can literally see almost all the seats. You can see literally every section. You're above like almost, you can, you're above all the 700 level sections. Did I just spawn a mistake? Hold on, I might have just spawned a mistake. Okay, hold on. I need green. Dirt green. Sorry, I just pointed out something. This one. So now I'm going back down to this blue. We're gonna just fly back up because I already walked. So I'm too lazy. Right, there, that's better. Alright, now let's go back up. 
Let's just show you this. So these are the flags for the national anthems. The Yale Library Korea has these flags in the NHL and the NBA and even the MLB because the Blue Jays. I might, you know, there's like a brown light outside. I might try to add that. We'll see how that goes. If there's enough space, because now I expanded the highway, so maybe there might be a little bit more room for that now. Or maybe not. I don't know. Alright, let's go up to the final floor, which is basically just how you get up to those bars. That's what I was like, you know, I should make one more floor, but what should it be? Well,. It should be this. <laughs> and then basically above here is just there's only one more brick at the, the roof. And this is it. There's the roof. We are now at the top floor of Scotia Bank Arena. Now there's nothing up here, it's just a hallway and these that just, like, if you need to, like, turn on or turn off the lights or adjust the video board, well, this is where you go and do that and stuff. Yeah, this is not where fans sit. This is just a maintenance. It's just where, this is only staff, this is only staff and creators only, like, me. So if you're a fan, you can't even go up there. Anyways, we're going to show you the video board now, inside of it. Now inside I put four maple leaves instead of the two I did last time. Because you know there's leaves inside of there, so... So they just light up and stuff, it's pretty cool. If you go... You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, let's go up to this level. So you can see everything come up here. You can see everything. You're like walking above everything. Anyways, we're gonna head back to the stairs. Let's go here. Banners are still there. Alright, let's go back down to the 300 level. You can see this is what it looks like at night from the highway. First, we're gonna walk down the stairs. This is one of the longer ones. a little TV screen, I might put another one, maybe, we'll see. I think I like the Brewer House the best. I think it looks the most realistic, because it's blue. Especially these glowstones also make it really nice. I think this looks like a place where they could be selling some beer, for sure. Alright, we're gonna check how long I've been playing here. Because I want to make my videos at least a half hour. 19 minutes. Okay, so we start to go for at least 10 minutes. Alright. So we're not finished yet. That's basically all I wanted to show you for this video. I changed the A a little bit on the sign. And, you know, since I have nothing else to do, we're gonna go up to the CN Tower. And yes, they're also gonna advertise CN Tower. So 
so basically this exit's kind of weird. So basically I think the exit's right here. Exit's like right here. Something like that. And I think this. I don't know why I put it right beside it. Maybe I did it instead. Maybe I'll edit. And this is how you get it on, I think. This might be one of the on entrances. Is this an on entrance? Well, I'm about to find out. Nah, this is an exit. Well, I don't know. Okay, so yeah, this is what this would be an exit, and this would be an on entrance to westbound. I don't know, I didn't really build this exit too good. So this is exit, on entrance, then exit further, and then on entrance is there. It's kind of weird. And then this is just sort of buffalo. This is, this is a CN Tower exit, which is kind of strange. So you basically have to go back east. It's kind of strange. I'm not really impressed with my Rogers Center, it sucks. I hate my Rogers Center. I'm not even gonna try to fix that because that's gonna take forever. I'm not gonna even try to do that. So yeah, this is there's gonna be an announcement for this exit and then the exit's right here. And then this is supposed to be like some fountain. But if you see the Rogers Center inside, you do know what I mean. It's not that good. So we're gonna go to the CN Tower because I'm not really gonna work on that too much. I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. It's two floors on the top. It's going the elevator. See the TV? I also changed the TV because the other one, I didn't like the other ones. I wanted to change it just make it like, to a regular small TV. Basically, you can see the Scotia Bank Arena. Oh, we can see the Sunrise too again. Perfect. Sunrise, oh, that looks pretty cool. Sun, Sunrise. The lights look pretty cool. That's one, but they all go off at the daytime. I don't know if they turn off. They just make light at night, and then, or if it's really dark, like Scotia Bank Arena. And then they turn off. Actually, it makes a pretty good point. There it is, the sun. Alright, that's a good point after a while, so let's just keep, there's the other part of the highway, and we can also see the highway past Culture Bay Arena, okay, it's, there's not much up here, there's just a bunch of windows. I'll just show you how horrible this thing is. If 
doesn't look that great because I'm not even going to try to work on it. As you can see, I was trying to take apart the sections. Look at this. Look how terrible this is. And this sucks. Scotiabank Green is way better. See, at least I got the little bit of Scotiabank, but this sucks. I mean, it's like, there's no way. <laughs> Look how big these are, too. I mean, this makes no sense. was. What the heck is this? A washer maybe? Yeah, it might, it might have been a washer. What the hell, man? What is this? Oh, this is so ugly. This is the 500 level. No kidding. That looks so ugly. This building oh, there's an elevator that actually is an elevator. I mean, at least the suites were okay. I mean, at least I got that part right. But these weren't too bad. See, I could have edited this, but no, it would take a long time, it wouldn't be like that, it wouldn't take a very long time. I might have to just demolish this building because of how terrible it is, I just feel like we better just get out of this building because I don't like this building too much. You guys want me to update this building? Yes, this is, might be a parking lot, but I'm not gonna try to do that. Alright, I'm out of here. This sucks. I'm out of here. <laughs> I hate this building actually. Yeah, I'm actually not a fan of this building. Scotia Bank Green is way better. It's way better. Say because I put stone floor and it's a lot bigger. It's a lot bigger. It's like bigger than that. Even though this is supposed to be smaller. I think I pretty much did everything. Oh yeah. Almost forgot. That, that gallery, yeah. I might build a light, we'll see. If I can find out what it looks like. I had to kill two villagers, they wouldn't listen to me. This is gate one. So this is how you get in. What's the closest section this is to gate one? Look at this. Like, even if there's like a false alarm, at least you can just go right here. And the doors open there for you if you need to leave. But that will never happen because Scotia Bank Green is a nice part That's good, like, even if you have to, like, even if you have to, like, leave early. Like, at least you don't have to leave early, you know? Like, at least you can stay right to the end, and the entrance and exit is just right there. It's a pretty good section, actually, because then you don't have to worry about leaving early. You don't have to leave early. You're right there. You're gonna beat everyone else. Once the game's over, you leave. That's it. Like, what if you're just sitting, like, right here? You're just sitting, like, right here. Barely. Like one, two, three, and you're out. 
of the team. Let's go straight to identity. So what kind of, so when it's closed, you actually can't go up to the door like this. So what can you see? I don't know. You can see some of the concessions. The closest concession is on Stoke Crave. I don't know if I can make villagers like actually like security staff and then if like if I invite like 2,000 people how many seats whatever how many seats there are I say like at least a thousand to two thousand I see so if I maybe even five thousand I don't say it's the actual the exact seating because I think it's actually supposed to be 19,000 but I think this is like at least not even a thousand. I say like maybe two thousand or three thousand. I say at the most probably five or six thousand can fit in this building. At least. And then if someone's like causing trouble, if they're like jumping off the ice and then security's gonna be on every floor, they're gonna be ready for him. I'm gonna have to like hire security for everything. And then we even close it, you know, like they do their own thing too. They walk the highway, they go to Buffalo, they do this, they do that. I don't know how many people you can actually fit in this building. I say like at least 5,000 characters. Like if I just invite 5,000 people in here, and they just do whatever. But, you know, they would probably go crazy. And then this is real sports. And this. So these are just shelves for like merchandise. So that's just a one big drawer and then maybe. Nah. Well, let's just put it back here. Yeah. Got a huge drawer for jerseys and. These are mainly just leaves and wrappers, which basically... And then, you know, they have warm-up pucks sometimes, so... 